How's it going everyone? It's me, Lone, back again with a third Fallout 76 video for this week. It's been a while since I've done that, so if you appreciate the content on this channel, please subscribe. We are only 1,500 subscribers away from the big 100k subs. It's been a while coming, so thank you to those of you who have subscribed and also to those of you who decide to subscribe after this video. So today, we are going to be talking about the new decryption mode in Daily Ops for Fallout 76. It's safe to say that this is a mode that is pro proven to be a bit more challenging uh, for those of you that are used to uplink the original mode as, pilot, as part of daily ops. That one you could pretty easily solo without even an optimized build. I think most people could go in there and solo it pretty comfortably and get the elder rank by completing it at, at 8 minutes or less. But the decryption mode is a little bit harder and the reason why I say that is because Again, the most popular build out there arguably is bloodied, so people are finding themselves because the enemies hit so hard in decryption mode with their new mu mutation, people are getting one-shotted essentially if you're a bloodied build, but also even if you're not a bloodied build, it's the time that it takes to go around and fight all the enemies and they do hit hard so you still have a chance to die. People are finding it tough, okay? So what I want to do in this video is make a bit of a guide and give my top tips to soloing this new decryption daily op mode in eight minutes or less to get that elder rank and all the rare rewards that come as part of that. So if this video helps you, please like, I would really appreciate it. Again, subscribe if you're new, but with all that out of the way, let's get to the video. Alrighty, so before we get into my notes for soloing the decryption daily op mode, there's something that we need to appreciate about daily ops, and that's that not all daily ops are created equal. Some are just going to be much harder for you to solo and get that elder rank versus others. And the main reasons for that are the mutations and the locations. So in terms of the mutations, some mutations are just going to make daily ops way harder for you to complete on your own, especially in that time limit. And I think the main mutation in that regard is resilient, right? So resilient will mean that the only way you can finish off enemies or kill them is by getting a melee strike. And even if you have a separate melee weapon, um, or even if you have a gun that you're bashing with, Naturally, it's going to take longer for you to kill those enemies, right? And because the default mutation in, in, in decryption is the Savage Strike mutation, which means they have armor-piercing attacks, often you're getting killed very, very quickly and you're losing your health very quickly. So getting up close and personal will often result in your death a lot of the times, especially if you're not careful. Second of all, locations. Because of this daily op mode and the way that it works, you have to run around and try and find enemies to kill and then find the code carriers and then go to the radios and, and use the code on them. And you have to do that three times with you know increasingly harder waves. Because you, you've got a lot of running around, okay, the, the maps or locations that are like mazes and that are much bigger than others, those are also going to be harder for you to complete within the eight minutes. So we need to keep that in mind. Luckily, today's is fairly simple. Today we are at Vault 94, which is a pretty small location and a lot of us are used to it after doing uplink here for so long. But now here are my top tips. Let's get out of this menu. Here are my top tips for completing the decryption daily up mode. And they can, they're as follows. There's simply three of them. Health, running slash sprinting and vampires weapons. Let's approach these one by one and then we're actually going to do the decryption daily up mode and I'll show you all of this in action. So number one, health is critical. It is crucial for this daily up mode because of that armor piercing mutation that all the enemies have. You are going to lose health very quickly. If you are a bloody build and sit under 20%, you're going to get one-shotted a lot of the times, and there's nothing you can do about it. No num amount of serendipity or, you know, DR or ER increasing per cards or life giver, whatever it is, if you sit under 20%, you are likely going to get one-shotted at some point. It won't always happen. Those per cards like serendipity and dodgy will help you to some extent, but sometimes you will get one-shotted, and as soon as you die, it makes it so much harder to solo this daily up mode, okay? So with that in mind, one of my suggestions for this daily up mode is simply not going under 20% health if you are a bloodied build. I know that makes it hard because nerd rage doesn't activate and your, and your weapons aren't as strong, but that does not matter when it comes to decryption. What matters is staying alive because that's going to allow you to actually complete the tasks and shoot enemies and kill them faster. As soon as you die, your progression compared to someone else with a mid health or a full health build is completely crap, okay? So my suggestion is, as my character is right now, sit just under 50% health 
and, and if you're a full health build or, you know, whatever it is, you're totally fine in this regard. You got a lot of health to spare. You're still going to have to heal, mind you, with stim packs every now and again. These enemies are not pushovers. But at the very least, increase your health a little bit to ensure you aren't getting one-shotted. That is the main way. And also as well, don't just sit under 50%. Try and boost your endurance and boost your max HP as much as you can because every little step is going to help, is going to help, okay? So, um, I've already I mentioned a couple of things. Unyielding isn't really going to help you here because unyielding doesn't boost your endurance to boost your, your HP. So, to increase your endurance and your max HP, you're going to have to shift more points into endurance using special loadouts. Thankfully, that's much easier nowadays. You're going to have to... What I have, I've done now, I've created an ex exploration public team to give me a single point boost to uh, endurance. I'm in a public server right now. It could be more if I, if I was in a team, but we're trying to solo this, okay? Um, it's slightly... It's very slight, but it's going to give you a little bit more HP to help you, okay? Of course, you can use consumables to boost your endurance and match max HP. So, blood bug steak, uh, psycho buff, buff tats, buff out. There's a t hot dogs. There's a ton of consumables out there that can improve your endurance and also your your max HP. So, keep all of those in mind as well. There are of course legendary weapons and armor that have the uh, a failed leader of the pack. Who cares? There are of course legendary uh, uh, weapons and armor that can boost your endurance by one as well. So if you have one of those, you might as well use it. Also as well, there are certain perk cards. So Life Giver will help you absolutely in this regard. Ones like Ironclad that improve your resistance, not so much in this. I'm not going to change my entire build around every time I want to do the, do the daily op, but at least I'm going to have certain perk cards like Life Giver to increase my max HP. So when I am under 50%, I still have more HP than I would if I didn't have Life Giver, for instance. Um, also as well, Rejuvenated. When you're, max, when you're fully fed and you also have rejuvenated, you're going to get more max HP as a result of that. So whatever you can do essentially to increase your endurance, to increase your HP, and then separately to increase your max HP, all of that is going to help with, your sta with this daily op. But even if you don't want to fully optimize it, just go under uh, 50%, all right? At the very least, have a bit of health to spare. If you want to go more than that, fine. Um, but I... I'm fine with just under 50%, okay? So yes, it does mean Nerd Rage and Serendipity and all that is, is not going to activate, but it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. And even if you still have Unyielding Armor, you're still going to get some sort of benefit being at just under the 50% level. So um, I've got a full set of Unyielding, as you all know, Secret Service. But even though I'm not at bloody level, I'm still getting, you know, certain boosts to my intelligence and certain boosts to my agility. Agility is key, by the way, because that's going to help with certain things. So that's why I suggest go just under 50% or at around that level, okay? So for sure, that is super important. Now, number two, maximizing your running and sprinting. Because of the tasks you need to complete in this decryption daily up mode, there's a lot of running and you want to keep running as much as you bloody can, okay? The moment that you stop is when things slow down and you're not able to complete that elder rank. And it's because of this that I would suggest to not use power armor. I know power armor makes it much easier for you to survive. And if you've got a bunch of people with you, use power armor for sure, because it has that inherent protection. That means that the armor piercing mutation that they have isn't as effective in power armor compared to out of power armor. It's just the way the game works, okay? But even given that, it, it, when you're solo, I still recommend regular armor because you're going to be able to run more, thanks to the unyielding benefit if you have it as well. And also you're going to be faster too. So keep that in mind. You can still do power armor, but it's not as, 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 as advisable, I would say, compared to regular armor, okay? So in terms of perk cards that can help you with your running, uh, Dead Man Sprinting. I actually, I don't believe I have Dead Man Sprinting, but what I'll do, it's pretty much they're all in agility okay a lot of the the running ones are in in agility so uh you sprint faster at increased ap cost when your health is below 40 percent so even if you can get just below 40 percent i would still say you're safe at that level that means you sprint faster i don't use this i don't think think it's absolutely necessary but if you want to sprint faster for sure dead men sprinting is a great perk card to use but it's not absolutely necessary. I think the one that is a bit more necessary and the one that I use a lot uh, is Marathoner. So I actually have a maxed out, so let me go here. So Sprinty consumes 40% fewer action points when you're out of power armor. 
that is huge, okay? That almost doubles the amount of time that you're able to sprint because sprinting drains your HP. So for sure, if you can, at the very least, equip a maxed out marathoner in this decryption daily up mode, okay? Now, if you use pistols, you can use gun runner. If you use, um, I think there's one if you use melee weapons as well, but those ones that help your running speed, if you use certain weapons, look, it's not as important, I don't believe. Marathoner for me is the main one. If you use squad maneuvers, you can actually run faster when you're part of a team. And if you join a public team, I believe it activates it anyways, even if there's no one else in your team. But in terms of per cards, Marathoner is the one that I would suggest for sure, at the very least. I'm not trying to completely un un upend your builds here. Just a few suggestions here and there. If you want to go with power armor, you're going to have to make sure, essentially, and let me get to it, um, that you have the, where is it? Power sprinter. So when you're in power armor, your sprinting uh, consumes fewer action points. But I'm assuming this is a legendary card a lot of you either don't have or haven't upgraded, uh, upgraded much. So that's why I still don't suggest power armor for this particular mode. Um, so keep that in mind, especially because just generally moving your power armor is slower. And because you can't get the unyielding benefit, you're not going to have as much agility. So you won't have as much AP. So you can't sprint, uh, sprint as long. It's just the reality of it. Okay. But I'll get to agility in a second. Um, so endurance, right? Endurance um, is important because you actually get, when you increase your endurance, not only do you get the boost to your HP, which as I mentioned is important, but also as well, you get a lower AP drain from sprinting when you have a higher endurance. So essentially it means your AP drains less when you're sprinting. So for sure, increase your endurance as much as you can. Consumables, exploration public team, legendary weapons and armor, all those reasons that I mentioned. I'll have a link in the description below for all consumables that actually boost or everything, but you can find ones that boost your endurance there. So for sure, have that to help both with the sprinting and also with your max HP. It's going to be super beneficial for you. And also as well, having a higher agility is going to help you sprint more because you're going to have more AP to sprint when you have a higher agility and sprinting relies on AP. So all the above, as I mentioned, consumables, etc., and then unyielding armor. This is why I suggest that you sit at that just below 50% or 40% to have the per card activated, the one that I mentioned before, Marathoner. Sit it at around that level so you still get some boost to your agility and you still have a lot of AP to use. What you could do is use Action Boy to regenerate your AP faster. I don't need this because I have armor that actually does that for me. But if you don't have that kind of armor, think about Action Boy over some of these other agility per cards. Let's talk about mutations very quickly. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, where are they? It's effects, right? So, uh, speed demon makes your movement speed faster. Absolutely necessary. Bird bones increases your agility and therefore increases your AP. So for sure, have bird bones. And herd mentality, it increases all your special stats by two. So that boosts your endurance and therefore health and also your agility and helps with sprinting. And again, you just need to be in a public team for herd mentality to activate. You don't need someone in your team, okay? And the third point, vampire's weapons. I made a whole video about that yesterday or the other day. But you need, in my opinion, vampire's weapons in this decryption daily up mode because it Pretty much they instantly heal you, especially when you have a high rate of fire one or even a shotgun. People were like, actually, sh vampire shotguns are pretty good because they heal per pellet. And as a result of that, they actually heal you pretty fast. So for sure, the one that I'm using as a, as a comparison or as a sense of um, just what I'm using is the Vampire's Explosive 50 Cal. But any high rate of fire vampires or any vampire shotgun, if you're a shotgun build, have something that can heal you. Otherwise, you're going to have to be using stim packs a lot and you probably will find yourself because you're using stim packs, you can't shoot and therefore you probably might die um, in situations where you probably wouldn't if you had a vampire weapon, okay? And also as well, because if you have a vampire weapon, uh, whoops, I don't want to repair this, you can use the per card Ricochet and that's actually going to help you even more when enemies hit you. Okay, so let's now solo this Decryption Daily Op mode. I had to stop recording because my dog was going crazy. Um, I'm also now closer to 50% health. I am now at 202 out of 413. I'm fully fed as well, so my max HP is higher. And I wanted to swap in Serendipity only because as I get hit and as I get to the th under 30% level for health, I want Serendipity to kick in and help me survive those dying stages a little bit more. So, let's start, and obviously the goal with this is just to run as much as you can and track down these enemies. And you need to understand with this daily op mode, you will die every now and again. It's not going to be completely detrimental, 
to getting the elder rank. There we go. Daily op. Mutation. Ah, uh, just keep shooting, keep shooting. Yep. Vampire's weapon, keep shooting. Uh, I like to use vats as well to target these enemies and figure out where they are. Obviously, using vats does drain your AP, so it makes your dodgy perk card a little harder, uh, uh, it's a little less effective. Um, it means you can't sprint as much because you're draining your AP. But even if you just quickly use vats to figure out where they are, get out of vats and shoot. I find that to be an effective strategy. Yes, it's vats spamming, but honestly, who the hell cares? So, he's gone. Come on, just keep shooting. I don't know where he is. It's dark, so it's hard to see. Also, as well, don't be afraid to use stim packs, even with a vampire's weapon. Like, sometimes you will just need to use it. So, there's three guys up here. I'm just going to go in here and spray and pray. Pray I don't die. Ha ha ha! Oh, God. T that's the guy. That is definitely the guy. I'm going to kill this guy because... Melee attacks and, and those enemies... God, they can kill you real fast, man. You just don't want to stop shooting, okay? You see what I mean? See how much health he took off of me? It's ridiculous. It's insane. So, there we go. He finally died. N shoot enemies in between if you need to, but find this radio as fast as you can and, and disable it because you don't want to kill too many, too many enemies in this stage because you want to essentially save them to contribute to your next goal, which is 10, I believe. Um, someone's here. It's 10, right? And he killed me. Like, there was there was nothing I was going to do in that situation. He was using a minigun. And miniguns can wreck you, okay? So, you can do everything right and still die. You can spawn right in front of a dog. Reload! Reload! There we go. Alright. So, yeah, use vats. Spam if you need to. It does not matter. Um. Oh, uh, Stimpak, Stimpak, Stimpak. But I need to find enemies fast. Here we go. I can constantly hear him. And he's running away. There we go, see? Four more, four more over here. Come on, boys. Come to play. Oh, crap. All right. See, guy with a minigun. Just be careful, yeah? Be careful. Alright, code carrier nearby, whereabouts, over here. Sometimes you might get lucky and some of these guys can actually be, um, suiciders and they just explode. There we go. Oh, crap. Heal, heal. The radio is just here. The radio is just here. Crap. It's alright. We're still in pretty good standing. Alright, come on, come on, come on. There we go. See, now I can kill them and it contributes to my next goal. Could I have just gone that way? Yeah, I could have. That's okay. There we go. Oh, hound, man. Yes. 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 I think we're we're in good standing. We're in good shape. We're at six minutes, though. I think we're just going to have enough ammo. Just. Probably should have got more ammo after that take I had to cancel. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, we're just going to have enough ammo. Yeah, literally just. All right, where's the final guy? Where's the final guy? Also, what I like to do, use a stim pack just before you get into a firefight because it's act actually going to heal you. Where did he go? There he goes, there he is, there he is. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Just keep shooting. There's so many there. That is insane. There is so m I just gotta- I just gotta fire. I just gotta spray and pray. Spray and pray. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Alright, alright, alright. Swapped my last gun. Heal, as I said. Come on. Come on, buddy. Where you- where you running to? Where you running? Where you running? Where's the last code? It's just here. Look at that! Oh, clutch! He ran out of ammo and I still survived at the end. That is how you solo the decryption daily op mode. Oh, that was tense. With an elder rank. 7 minutes and 36 seconds. I previously earned it. Um, oh man, that was intense. I enjoyed that. 
<laughs> Alrighty, Way Sanders, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. That was pretty fun. It was pretty tense there at the end. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And until next time, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourselves and would you kindly keep fighting the good fight.